Scouts are heading out into Oklahoma wheat fields to check on first hollow stem. Robert Calhoun is a senior agriculturalist with Oklahoma State University. First hollow stem is uh, where the plant is transitioning from its vegetative growth to its reproductive growth. The reason we are checking for it is there's a couple decisions that producers need to make at this growth stage. They need to determine if they want to continue grazing their forage or they need to remove cattle so that they can protect their wheat yield. There's a publication done by a former OSU student and looking at grazing past first hollow stem and yields are significantly reduced just I mean days after first hall stem allowing them to continue grazing and if if you go on to say like a week or so uh, you're really really losing that that yield potential uh, so that's what we're doing out here we're digging up plants splitting stems looking for the the seed head and looking for that first hall stem and we are uh, determining where we're at in that production and uh, getting that information out for the producers to uh, have a, a good idea of where their wheat crop is. And the way you do that is with a really sharp knife or razor. Cut the stem evenly in half and measure the hollow chamber forming above the developing head. I think it was around two to, to three tenths of a centimeter is what it looked like. Uh, the threshold, what we call when the plant has, has met first hollow stem, that is 1.5 centimeters. So for anything, once, once the plant, once the hall stem is to a length of 1.5 centimeters, we say it has reached first hall stem. And that's when you want to pull grazing cattle off your wheat pasture so as not to damage yield potential. Calhoun said these plants should reach first hall stem within a week. I'm Don Atkinson reporting for the Oklahoma Wheat Commission and Oklahoma Genetics Incorporated.